Hey everyone, my name is Sandra Sorma and I am an AWS Certified Cloud Engineer. Today, I will introduce Terraform input variables and I will demo how to implement variables on Terraform. In the demo, we will launch AWS EC2 instances using input variables. I will also show how you can pass variables in Terraform in different ways. So what are input variables? In our previous videos, we used hard-coded values to demonstrate how Terraform works. As your projects get more complicated, you want to reuse your configuration files without changing your code. This means that you don't have to hard code values such as number of instances to launch or instance type that you want to use. Let's say that you have a config file that launches two EC2 instances in a region. You can use variables to supply the instance count and the region instead of hard coding those values. That way, you can use the same file in more than one scenario. In today's demo, we will launch EC2 instances using a combination of three configuration files. The first one is instances.tf, which describes the instances that we will be launching. The second config file is provider.tf, where we specify that we are working with AWS and pass on AWS access keys and secret keys. The third file is variables.tf, where we will be defining the variables that we will be using today. Make sure that you visit the GitHub page for this video and look at the files yourself. I will be posting the link in the description. Now let's look at the files in the command line. The first one is instance.tf. As you see here, instance.tf describes the instances that we will be launching today. We provide AMI. We will supply instance type and count as variables. The next file we will be looking at is provider.tf. As you see here, provider.tf specifies our provider, which is AWS. I have set up AWS CLI on my laptop and Terraform uses those shared credentials to access my AWS account. If you have not set up AWS CLI on your machine, uncomment these lines by removing the leading pound sign and then enter your access key and secret key here. Finally, the region specifies that we will be launching instances in US East 2 region, which is in Ohio. The third file we will be looking at today is variables.tf. In this file, we describe two variables that we will be using throughout this demo. The first one is EC2 type, and the second one is instance count. Now let's launch the EC2 instances. When I hit Terraform apply, Terraform prompts me to enter EC2 type. I will enter T2 micro. After I have done that, Terraform prompts me to enter instance count and I will enter two as the number of instances I want to launch. Once that's done, Terraform wants me to confirm that I want to perform these actions and I say yes. Once this is done, Terraform begins creating your instances. It can take up to a few minutes for Terraform to launch these instances. Now, Terraform has completed launching these instances. You might be curious as to why those variables work and why Terraform asked us to pass those values using the command line. So let's look at the instances.tf file one more time. As you see here, instead of hard coding instant type and count, we used variables to supply these parameters. And those variables are defined in the variables.tf file. As you see here, we have declared the EC2 type as the first variable and instance count as the second variable. I have commented out the default values and if I had uncommented these values by deleting this pound sign, Terraform would not have prompted me for those values. Now let's go over to the AWS console and look at the instances that were created. As you see here, there are two running EC2 instances in US East 2, which is in Ohio. Terraform has tagged these instances as Terraform underscore demo as we specified. 
Now I will destroy these EC2 instances. Terraform once again asks me for these variables. I put in t2.micro, instance count is two. These EC2 instances have been destroyed. Let's verify that. I'll hit refresh. There are no running instances and you'll see that all instances that I have had are destroyed. Now let's quickly look at the documentation to see other ways we can use input variables. We are at HashiCorp's documentation for input variables. I will be sharing this link in the description. Now let's look at the different ways you can use variables in Terraform. The first one is command line flags. In this method, you supply the variables when you use the terraform apply command. This is not a scalable solution as you will have to input the variables repeatedly. You can also create a file to supply variables in terraform. To do so, you create a file named terraform.tfvars. You can also name the file something else. When you use the terraform apply command, Terraform pulls in the variables from terraform.tfvars by default. If you name your file something else, you would have to specify that on the terraform apply command. Next, I will be showing you how to use variables in this way. The third way to use input variables is by using environment variables, and you can read about it here. Another way to use Terraform input variables is by using UI input. Earlier, we used UI input to supply variables. It is fine to use UI input when you have a simple project, but as your project gets more complicated, we recommend using files to supply variables. As I showed you earlier, you can also provide default values in your variables.tf files, and that is the final way of using input variables in Terraform. I'm back on my command line, and you can see that I've also created a new file called terraform.tfvars. Now let's look at the content of this file. You see that in this file, I have specified the instance count as two and the EC2 type as t2micro. Now I'm going to use terraform apply command once again. As you see, Terraform did not prompt me to enter those variables because it pulled the variables from the terraform.tf4 files. Once again, it can take up to a few minutes to launch these instances. Now let's go to the console. Now I am back in my AWS management console, and you can see that I have two EC2 instances running right now. We have demonstrated two ways to use Terraform input variables. You can go ahead and explore the other ways specified on the documentation as well. Now, let me destroy these instances at the command line. Now, Terraform is destroying these instances. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments. Make sure that you visit the GitHub page for this video and look at the files yourself. I will be posting the link in the description. That brings us to the end of today's video. See you in the next video. Thank you.